Hello and welcome to 3680 Cedarwood Lane, Beaver Creek, Ohio. Here we're standing in front of this home walking up to the front of the house. First thing you'll notice we have a concrete driveway that has a little swoosh to it. All kinds of charm and character to this one. We do have some mature trees on the lot as well. And then check this out. We have a spot for additional parking over here. And I'm actually gonna walk over here because I don't remember what was over here. So we're gonna see it together. Oh, it's a little hidden spot to put the trash cans so you don't have to bring them out front. Uh, yard is completely fenced in. And wait till you see the front porch on this place. It is super cute. Um, all of the landscaping lights do stay. This does not, the, uh, the swing here does not stay. Look how cute this covered front porch is. There's a gate over here and there's a shed out in the back there. Flowers are all just starting to pop up. It's starting to just look beautiful out here. And a good sized driveway so you can have plenty of guests over here. This is a fantastic home. I'm excited to show it to you. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here I just walk through the front door and the front door does have a side light here. And then we come into a nice ceramic tile entry here with a nice pattern in here as well. Opens up into the living room. And then immediately to our left is a coat closet. And then we do have a huge deck back here that I'll show you guys in a little bit. But we do have a door back here that leads to the back deck. And the perfect spot for the TV. The TV wall mount will stay with the property. From here we can go over to the kitchen. We can go upstairs to the bedrooms. First floor here, we have uh, double French doors. Now this could be multiple things here, currently being used as the kids' playroom, but previous owners, I believe, used this as a formal dining room, if I remember correctly, and could be converted to a bedroom as well. There is another entry coming into the room right here. So you have two different accesses to that room. And we'll come full circle, it's a circular floor plan. This is our two-car garage, and we do have a good amount of storage in there as well. Our laundry room, the washer and dryer do not stay. And then over to the right is a half bathroom. This is a huge under the stairs closet in here. And then this is a pantry closet. There's our half bathroom. And then coming into our kitchen and dining area, it's the eat-in kitchen area here. And again, that deck almost runs the whole length of the house. Kitchen here, all of the kitchen appliances stay and that is a really, really nice range right there. Uh, dishwasher over here to the right, fridge, microwave, and uh, oven all stay with the home. A little pantry cabinet here as well. These are all cherry type cabinets. And if we're coming full circle, there's the front door where we just came from. I think this little trash can thing here does not stay. All of the window treatments are negotiable in the house. And walking through here, this is all tiled flooring that leads into our family room. This has vaulted ceilings here. There is a skylight and a very nice fireplace with a tile surround on here as well. Floors tiled, there's chair rail all around here. Then there's a sliding door going out to the backyard. Since we're here, let's go ahead and, oh, I think I just locked this in. Now the owner hasn't had time because of the weather, but they are going to pressure wash this and paint it. But look at this backyard, it is a huge backyard, fenced in. There is a, a branch fell on a fence over here. They are gonna have that fixed. Uh, the swing set is gonna stay. The trampoline is not. They're gonna haul that off. And there is a nice size shed over here as well. So this deck is just awesome. You see the fence over here to the side. And back there are all luxury homes back there. This is just sit back on the front porch or the back porch, drinking a cup of coffee, reading the newspaper. Just a fantastic first floor and backyard. Now, I'm gonna meet you upstairs and let's check out the bedrooms. 
All right, so here just came up the stairs here. This is a very nice wood. I mean, this is solid wood hand railing coming up here. Going down here, we have three bedrooms here, all of them good sized bedrooms. This one is on the back right of the home. This one's current being used as like an office and just craft room. We have a double bifold closet and those windows overlook the backyard. Then we have our first full bathroom. We've seen the half bathroom. Looks like we have the solid surface countertop in here, all updated ceramic tile. And then check out this shower. Very nice, this is a jacuzzi tub. Very, and that tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. It has a built-in soap box there too, very nice. Then, this is a linen closet. I'm not gonna open it because it's loaded with stuff right now, but this is actually a really big closet. You can get a good amount of stuff in there. This bedroom here is huge for a kid's room here. This window kind of overlooks um, the, the side slash front of the home. I mean, it is huge. Little piano area over here, plenty of room in here. And then the closet in here, it has like custom made closets in here. Very, very nice. And this has like an additional, it bumps out and another closet in there just to put like all the, maybe the seasonal stuff. But great bedroom in here. Overhead lights in all of the rooms that we've seen thus far. And then the owner suite here it's on the left of the house if you're looking at it from the street. Um, this armoire and this stuff is negotiable. It's not included, but it is negotiable. And these lights are not built into the wall. They actually plug in, so they're just kind of mounted there. But this is the front of the property. And when I was taking the pictures, I could see uh, cardinals uh, flying up there. Very cool. And again, with all the TVs, the wall mounts can stay, but the TVs are not gonna stay. But all of the furniture in here is negotiable. And then this also goes to the back of the property. And again, by the time you see this house in person, this trampoline will probably be gone. And then the bathroom here, we have uh, his and her or double vanities. And then a walk-in shower. And that is ceramic tiled all the way to the ceiling as well. And then we do have a walk-in closet here. And then the commode is around here to the corner. And then this is just a medicine cabinet right here. And then above the toilet overlooks the backyard. And I'm not sure that might be a marble top on there. I'm not entirely sure. And this, this is being touch up paint. Just ran out of time, but that's actually gonna be done once I leave here. So this is the second floor here. So we have three bedrooms, two full baths, one half bath. And guys, this home is just phenomenal. I mean, a half acre, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. And really that office could be a fourth bedroom if you needed it. We're just gonna go ahead and walk downstairs while we're concluding here. Huge backyard in Beaver Creek, close to the green close to 35, close to Wright State, close to the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. This home has a lot going on for it and is priced very competitive even in this crazy market. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to answer any questions you have and get you in here to see it because a home like this does not last long. Thanks for watching.